英語聞き流し10分間名作リスニング英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロードその他の物語はホームページよりご利用いただけます 88thpp.com 88thpp.com When I was a ninth grader and a leader of the ninth grade play team for the homecoming at school, I devoted myself to dramatization and direction in the run up to the homecoming. The teacher in charge of our team praised my first dramatization. He said it was a good script and I had a talent. While I was motivated, other members of the team didn't have a wit of interest or enthusiasm. They tried to make me decide everything. I took care of the set, the props, and the costumes while teaching the lighting and acting. Above all, their acting was terrible. They were just reading their lines in a monotone. No matter how strenuously I explained, they simply couldn't act. I acted every role for them and asked them to mimic me. As I needed to tell every member what to do and how to do, I felt like I was working with a bunch of robots in the team. At last, they started suggesting that I would be better off if I did everything in the play alone by myself, instead of giving them each and every single instruction. Maybe it was true, but there was one exception among the cast members. The girl whom I cast as a leading role tackled her acting earnestly and seriously. She followed every instruction and advice from me. Other members were still sardonic for my casting of a non pretty, unpopular girl as a leading role, but her acting got better and better. It seemed she felt an obligation to me for the casting. She even brought a present for me on my birthday, although we had never been close and had hardly talked with each other at school until the play team got going. With her and my effort, our team successfully put on the play at the homecoming and it was much better than I had expected. This curriculum play was part of the school competition. The faculty would vote to decide the best play among the 7th, 8th, and 9th grade team's plays. It was a school's tradition that a 9th grade team won every year. As a 9th grade team leader, I was sitting at the auditorium, preparing myself for receiving the prize out on the stage when the winner was announced. The 8th grade team. The announcement filled the air. That year, for the very first time in the school history, the 9th grade team didn't win. In the joyful clamor of the 8th graders, every member of our team shot me a reproachful glance. It was a perfect nightmare. Our team's teacher later told me that a big set in the 8th grade's play had impressed the faculty. A large glittering sleigh with the Snow Queen on it appeared, and that was the decisive factor in victory. Come to think of it, our team's biggest set was an ordinary ping pong table. Audiobook Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. I'd like to get down to working on our next song soon, but before that, I need to set up my studio all over again in my new apartment. So far, piles of cardboard boxes have occupied my new place. To make space for a studio, I should unpack those cardboard boxes and sort out their contents. Then, I'll take measures to soundproof by myself. As I did to the walls of my old apartment, I'll fix folded cardboard boxes to all over the wall, cover them with soundproof polyurethane, put more cardboard boxes on it as a sandwich, and add soundproof sheets over it. Done with only one side of the wall. I should repeat this for other sides of the wall and the ceiling. I'm a little frustrated at this cumbersome process to start arranging our new song. The melody and the words of the new song have been completed, so that makes me want to start working on the arrangement soon all the more. I know it will only take a long, long time to finish the song once I get down to it after all. Audiobook Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total.
Back in my school days, there were required curricula specifically for the homecoming event. Students must participate in either an exhibition, retail, or a play. I chose a play every homecoming when I was a junior high school student. When the homecoming's preparation began in my ninth grade, my passion for the theater was at its peak since I had been regularly cast for a major role in the drama club at school. Other students knew that and I was appointed as the ninth grade play team leader almost automatically. Everyone had no interest in a required curriculum and I had to put together a play by leading 50 unwilling, reluctant team members. From the first meeting, I encountered foreseeable difficulties. No one brought up any suggestion of what play we would show at the homecoming. When I uttered a Japanese classic novel, they unanimously shouted, that's it. That'll be our play. In order to finish the meeting quickly. Our play was decided like this and I dramatized the novel for the first time in my life. I had thought it would be difficult, but it was unexpectedly so much fun. I finished the script quite fast. And then, the casting. I had decided not to be cast in the play myself because I had been already cast in a play of the drama club for the homecoming. I didn't want to appear in every play at school like an attention freak. I thought it was cool that I produced, dramatized and directed for this curriculum play. But in the team, everyone had neither experience nor skill in acting and they didn't want to be cast. It was again left to my sole decision. While I was choosing some students who seemed to like appearing on the stage, a girl timidly raised her hand. She said she wanted to act. Although I finally got a volunteer, I hesitated to cast her for a moment. She was not pretty. Other students started giggling at her brave attempt. Instantly I came to myself and remembered the fact that I was also regarded as an ugly girl at school. My bad looks contributed to continuous typecasting as an old, wicked woman in drama club's plays. As I had been weary of disadvantage of appearance, I cast her as a leading role. My decision made other students gape. Thus, I had trying three months for the play with totally amateur actors and backstage staff. Audiobook Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. A new restaurant opened one train station away from my new place according to the internet. It seemed an American cuisine restaurant which specialty were a cheeseburger and a waffle, which is rare in this area. There are many other restaurants on the street where the new restaurant opened and I'd wanted to stroll along it sometime. Most restaurants they were introduced with the pictures on the internet and looked neat enough. I was pretty sure that they wouldn't disappoint me this time around and went there for lunch. But, sadly, my jaw dropped yet again. It was as if the pictures I'd seen on the internet had been taken 30 years before or something. All the restaurants were rusty and shabby. The street looked deserted with nobody strolling along. I spotted the new American restaurant among them and a man dressed in a white cook uniform was sitting in a chair in front of the place looking at his cell phone. The door was left open and I glanced at the inside. There was no customer in a cramped restaurant. The online photo of the place was far better than the actual one. Whoever took the online photos of the restaurants on this street must have a genius for making dreadful sights look beautiful. As I was starving, I entered the least unsightly restaurant where some customers had just come out. They served the meal twice as much as an ordinary restaurant, and it was so delicious. Unexpectedly, it was a pleasant eating experience. I went home feeling like trying other restaurants on that street as well. As for the American restaurant, I'm still not sure if I have the courage to go in. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook, Living in Kyoto by Hitomi Woods. Now on sale in online stores. 44 available distributors. Apple, Google Play, Amazon Audible, or else. Daikouhyo. 
秀美ウッズがデザインしたとってもかわいいオリジナルグッズが手に入るトートバッグ缶バッジステッカー T シャツトレーナーパーカー文具その他いろいろエリゼンドットコムで見てみてね「ERIZEN.com」eriz.en.com エリゼンドットコム英語聞き流し10分間名作リスニング英語テキストと mp3 ダウンロードその他の物語はホームページよりご利用いただけます 88thpp.com 88thpp.com 88thpp.com